morning guys um, good to see you guys again hope you guys are enjoying this new journey that we're on um, it's pretty big journey honestly we're excited um, it's meaning all sorts of different things for us and we're like counting down the weeks uh, by the time you're seeing this it's probably down to like two weeks before we make this journey um, so what that means is I want to get our ducks in a row for uh, going cross-country so you saw I got this thing all washed up and it looks looks pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with this. I was telling Hannah that this feels like an answer to prayer, um, that it's a great trailer. It cleaned up nice. You saw the tractor fits just like perfectly. Um, so I'm excited that things feel like they're coming together. So now that we've got it cleaned up, I just kind of want to get uh, get the rest of the trailer checked out and I'm gonna be checking out the wheel bearings today. Um, so come along, join me. I'm gonna be taking the tires off, uh, checking number one, the condition of the bearings, and then re-greasing the bearings, and then reassemble it. Come along and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so first step is gonna be um, just cracking the nuts loose on this one. Um, once I get them loose with this, I'm actually gonna use my uh, cordless impact just to kind of finish it off. So we're gonna just loosen those and then I'm gonna jack this thing up in the air and then we'll use the, uh, the impact at that point. So we'll just kind of go around, do one at a time, get them broke free like that. I have no idea the last time these have been off. Holy mackerel, they are see that I'm missing I'm missing a nut so this is why we're we're checking out the trailer because this trailer's gonna have a pretty good size load in it and it's got to carry us across the United States okay so there's that one we'll do this back one same thing So those are broke loose. Let's get the weight off of the tires and then I'll finish it with the impact. So, looks like this would be a good place to lift. Let's see what this does for us. finish the job with the impact. It feels smooth. Okay, there's a little play in the bearings. I'm just rocking the, rocking them back and forth, kind of this direction. Not bad, but there is a little, a little play in there. So, we'll finish. over there's a little rust nothing too terrible let's do the other one all right so there's that one we'll get this guy up put out of the way These guys up here are so gonna lose them. Okay. Alright, so with the tires out of the way, we need to take this cap off. And I'm gonna try just using vice grips on this, or the channel locks, I mean. That's 
not gonna happen. So, what we're gonna do, Try to get behind this. I'll show you what I'm doing. Whoa, that looks like new grease. That's a good sign. This might have already been done. That's fresh grease. So what I was doing there is trying to get behind this collar and then just pop it off. Interesting. Now it's like, do I just keep going? Cause that seriously is like bright pink. This was just done, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good thing. I'll, I'll take it. I will check the other ones. Um, so there was some play in there. So at the bare minimum, I'm going to adjust the wheel bearings, but I, I don't think I'm gonna grease him. <laughs> That's funny, I did not plan this. This is totally impromptu and real life right here. So um, we'll check the other ones, of course, but this was just done. And the, even that uh, cotter, cotter pin, that looks new to me. That's not all uh, the same age, you know? So that, that pin looks new and the grease looks new. So I think I think we're gonna be okay. Um, I do need to take this cotter pin out, however, to uh, put some more tension on those bearings. And what I'm talking about with that is this has a nut. Once I take that pin out, there's a nut, and I need to just tighten that, go clockwise with that just a little bit, uh, because with the tire on, I was checking that play in the, in the bearing, and there was a little bit of rock to it that I could feel a little clunking. So I'm gonna take that out. I don't want it too tight, um, otherwise, that'll put too much pressure on the bearings and they'll heat up and we'll have problems. So um, this is going to be a whole lot easier than I was expecting. So right on. I love it. So taking the pin out. Here we go. It's folded over. So we're going to go down. Yeah, this pin is totally new. And then we should be able to just pick it out. Whoa. Almost hurt myself. She's a stubborn one. I wonder if I have any cotter, cotter pins. I'm thinking about just cutting it. That nut's pretty loose. That's what we're gonna tighten. We just gotta get this pin out of here. Oh, there it goes, all right. That's probably what I was fighting, that little hoop to do in that pin. So pin is out. You can see that, whoa, that's pretty good. <laughs> nice catch. That this is loose, that's fine, that's, that's good. But we're just gonna take some of the play out of that um, just to tighten up the bearings. And all I'm gonna do is give it, I guess that'd be about a quarter turn. So on this nut, you can see that there are little indents to it right here right here all the way around the nut and this spindle has a hole in it where the pin goes through so all I'm gonna do is tighten this nut till that notch gets to that pin that pinhole um, and we'll go from there and recheck it so we're gonna boop, just like that Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do, is just tighten them up a little bit. Okay, lock this guy back in. And then bend it over, just like that. Wow, I can't believe how lucky I got on this one. That's pretty neat.
So I'm going to put this cover back on. You know what? While I'm here and just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and pack this with grease. That way it's just there. Um, I don't think it needs it. Um, and it's probably unnecessary, but I'm just going to go ahead and stuff some, some grease in this cavity. There are two sets of bearings. So this grease that I'm putting in here probably will never reach that back bearing, but what's it gonna hurt, right? We're here and the cap's off. And then I'm gonna take this mallet and just back in place. Wipe up the extra grease. Uh, I think I'm gonna call that done. Nice. So I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna check this one here. Um, in fact, let, let me do that right now. Let's see if they did it to all four corners. I'm sure, I'm sure they did. That would be silly of them to do it. Otherwise. Whoa, wrong hammer. So this has got fresh grease in it too. Nice. So that's pretty loose. So, all right. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, what I did to that first one that you saw me uh, take apart and re-grease and then tighten that nut. I'm going to do that to all four corners. Um, and then I guess we'll just go from there. Um, this is, this is pretty neat. I'm, I'm happy to uh, see this the guy that I bought it from did say that he just had it done like a year ago uh, But this grease unless he just never uses the trailer, which is possible because it was Looked like it was parked under a tree, you know um, this grease looks That grease looks new to me. So Anyway, um, like I say, I'm just gonna do that to all four corners and we'll go from there Okay, so this thing really was quite the answer to prayer. Um, Whoa, going over. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Um, okay, this guy must have taken really good care of it. Um, not only are the tires pretty much new, um, they're very good shape. All the bearings were just recently done um, and in great condition. So all I really did was tighten up the wheel bearings. So that's, that's awesome. So what you saw me doing there is torquing the lug nuts to 100 foot pounds. So something I'll do later because I don't have it with me, I have to go get it, is I need a nut for right here. And then one of my marker lights, the lens is missing. I need a red one for back here orange for front, red and back. So, so we're done with that. While I'm here, I did want to check tire pressure. These things have a max uh, inflation of 60 pounds. That's 40 pounds. So that's, that's good. That's fine. And then we'll check this guy. And it's also at 40. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's take our setup and go check the other side. So let's do the other one here, and then I'm actually going to take that whole um, hub off. I'll show you how that gets done. It's super, super easy. So let's move down. So again, we're going to try to get behind lip on this cap. Like 
that. Same thing, new pin, new grease, looks good. But I'm gonna show you how to take this apart like we were gonna do originally. So let's take this whole pin out. Just like that. We'll put that in the cap. So then this nut. All the way out and there's a washer behind this and because we're working outside I'm, I'm actually gonna put all of this on a rag like that okay so then this washer I'm gonna leave it in there and just pull this whole thing off there's your washer and the bearing. Just like that. So looking, oh, got some dirt on me. So we're gonna be looking at those bearings. And it all looks pretty, pretty good to me. So we're gonna set this down, the washer down. If you notice, this washer has a flat spot. And so does this spindle has a flat spot. So it can only go on one way. Okay, so let's just take this off and we'll look at the back end. So this is the back end. You do have a seal there. That's what this is. And then the other bearing is this guy right here is actually on the inside. That seal is just to hold the grease in the hub and keep it out of the brake system. So that's what that looks like. Okay. So I'm actually gonna go back together with this. Now that you've, uh, you've seen that, and then while I'm here, I'm gonna fill the cavity of the hub with grease so that when I push this outside bearing in, um, it's actually gonna kinda ooze through that. So this bearing, got some dunk in there. Like I say, we're working outside not exactly the best environments here. That's actually pretty bad. I'm gonna grab that. Okay. My rag must have been dirty. So maybe this will be a good opportunity to show you how to pack a bearing. Kinda clean up a little bit. All right, so my uh, wheel bearing grease is, is packed away in a box somewhere. So I'm just gonna be using this grease here. And we're gonna pack this bearing. So I'm just gonna be pushing the grease in to the bearing. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to come out right there. And we're just gonna keep doing that. That's how we pack bearings full of grease. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so that one's packed. We're just gonna put the extra stuff on there. Just for fun. Let me spin it around a little bit. So that bearing's gonna go back into place.
didn't really want to go in for some reason. Must have not had the this hub in all the way. What a greasy mess. Okay, so flat spot going on like that. We're gonna start this nut. Maybe. There we go. Okay. And we're actually going to tighten this all the way down. Not super tight, but really to where it, it gets snug. And then spin the hub a couple of times and then probably back it up. So right there it got tight. I'm going to go oop, like that. Give it a couple of good spins. Let the bearings seat wherever they need to be. And then let's check where that nut wanted to go. Actually, that felt, that felt about right. Compared to that one. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy with that. So, let's go ahead and put our cotter pin back in that. Bend this guy over and that's what locks this pin in place uh, preventing this nut from loosening up. And we'll put this cap back on just like that. All right so the hub is back in place. Uh, it's been re-greased, uh, re-tensioned. Uh, that feels Pretty good. Um, so at this point, I think I'm going to use a little WD-40 on the threads of these guys here. That way next time, maybe it'll come off a little easier. So I'm gonna do that to each of these ones. It'll probably help the nuts go on a little easier too. Okay, so let's get the tire put, put back on. and then we're gonna to torque everything uh, nice and tight. So here we go, coming down. Okay. So again, this is set to 100, 100 foot-pounds. And then I'm going to torque this in a triangle fashion. So I'm gonna go here, here, here. So that'd be my triangle. And then I'll do the opposite ones later. So. So tightening it in a triangle uh, pattern like that just keeps everything nice and even when you go to tighten this wheel, uh, that you're not tightening at one point and going all the way around. Um, that could cause warping. So doing it in a triangle pattern applies nice, even pressure uh, to the wheel. <clears throat> And really, that's something that I should have done when I was taking the wheel off, and I didn't do that. That's, it's on me. Okay, this one doesn't have one. So going cross country with this trailer, I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape. Um, the only thing that it might be good to have easy access to is the tools to change the tire using the spare tire up there. Um, but I feel pretty comfortable with like the hubs and, and the bearings and all that. Um, and the tires that are on here, I don't, I don't see a problem. So, uh, okay, so those are all tight. Let's check air pressure, and then I think we're done. So, going pretty smooth, really. The other side was 40, 40 PSI. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, it's like 38. That's pretty close to 
party. That one's 35. So that one up probably would be a good idea to add some air to that one. That's the bummer part about working outside is my air compressor's inside. I don't think my hose is long enough to get over here. So um, I will get those filled up. Maybe I'll use my portable one. I'm not sure, I'll figure that out. So I'll probably add some air to that one. Uh, but I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, this is just kind of where we're at with our lives is making sure everything's ready to go and drive 2,500 miles. Uh, it's going to be quite the adventure. I think it's going to take the better part of a week. We're going to go nice and easy, see a couple of things maybe while we're while we're in route, um, but just making sure everything's roadworthy. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe, um, like, all that fun stuff, and know that this is just the beginning of our journey together. So anyway, have a great day, guys. Bye.